Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, this video is going to be about different methods to consume and extract Benzedrex. But before I um, get onto that, I just wanted to mention that I have a Discord server. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, a fellow named Zebras, um, that's his Discord name. He's in my Discord server, so uh, you'll see him if you join. But he is... He has been helping me make it. Well, he's been kind of doing all the work. Discord confuses me, and I'm not very uh, knowledgeable at it. But um, he's made the server very, very cool. Uh, there's levels. There's different chats, different types of chats, uh, different channels. So if you'd like to chat with me in Discord uh, and chat with other people who share similar interests, uh, I will leave a link in the description. In the description. <laughs> But anyways, uh, let's get into the video. So the first method you can use for ingesting Benzedrex is to just eat the cotton whole. Um, I do not recommend doing this for a few reasons. Um, one, it tastes very, very gross. Uh, two, the cotton is cotton's not good for your body when eating it. Um, especially cotton with lavender and menthol in it. So I would avoid, um, avoid eating the cotton, uh, three. Um, it can be bad for your stomach, um, your intestines. It can jam your intestines. It can cause a blockage, uh, because again, cotton is not meant to be ing ingested. But, um, if you gotta, I mean, doing it once isn't going to do anything really bad to your body, I'm assuming. But um, I would avoid uh, this method at pretty much all cost. Okay, for the second way um, to consume it, this is a rather uh, simple extraction. It will separate everything from the cotton, but it will not um, remove the lavender or the menthol. That will be coming soon. So basically, this is a very simple um, extraction. Cut um, the Benzedrex up. Put, cut it up into four pieces, I'd say. Put it in a water bottle. Um, put any liquid you'd like, soda, lemonade, anything really acidic. Put it into the bottle, dump it in there, um, and let it soak and shake it. So... There's a few ways of going about this. You could just let it sit for 24 hours. Um, I really wouldn't do that. You could um, shake it for 30 minutes constant, but unless you are a very um, athletic person, I wouldn't do that. So what I would do is um, let it sit three hours, uh, come back every 20 minutes, and shake it for two minutes. This will keep it um, you know, mixed up. It will keep it uh, mixing, and it will allow um, it to separate. So when you're done um, soaking it, just simply filter out. Uh, you could just pull the cotton out and squeeze it out, or you could use like uh, one of those things, uh, like metal filters, uh, fishnet things, or whatever they're called, and then just kind of press down into the cotton to make sure that all of the liquid is out. Uh, okay, for this extraction, um, this is a lavender and menthol removal extraction, and it will also uh, separate the Benzedrex from the cotton. So, step one, you're going to open up the Benzedrex. Step two, cut it into four pieces. Step three, um, pour it. Put it into a water bottle, plastic water bottle will work best. Step four, pour a little lemon juice into the bottle. Doesn't really matter how much, just enough to fill a glass full, I would say. Uh, step five, let um, the mixture soak in a water bottle for 24 hours. Uh, 24 hours I, is the golden period, but uh, I'm sure a couple hours would be fine. Um, make sure you shake it up, though, if you're only doing it for a few hours. Uh, step six, remove the cotton. Make sure to squeeze out every last drop of it. 
from uh, said cotton. Pour the mixture into a new bottle and add a little bit of olive oil into the new bottle. Um, extra virgin olive oil works the best, but um, cooking in vegetable oil would also do the, do the trick. Uh, step 7. Shake the mixture vigorously until you see the lemon and the oil combine into a muddy dark mixture. Uh, step 8. Pour the mixture, mixture into a Ziploc bag. Uh, step 9. Wait for a few minutes to allow it to separate um, and wait until you see a clear separation between the liquid and the oil. Uh, step 10, poke a small hole in the bottom of the bag um, and allow uh, liquids to drain out um, and drain it out into a cup. Uh, step 11, watch, um, just make sure to watch uh, as the liquid starts coming out and quit um, draining it when you start to see uh, the oily stuff get to the bottom, so the top layer basically. Uh, step 12, drink and enjoy. Uh, that's probably the most um, complicated one I'll cover in this video, but let's continue. Okay, so the last uh, method of extraction, I'm just going to leave a link in the description to a very complicated uh, scientific um, blog post, uh, drug forum post. I don't really feel like I can do any justice explaining it because I am i don't know much about exactly chemistry or I know how things work. I just don't know how to create and how certain things are synthesized. But if you're into that, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description. That's probably the most purest way uh, to extract it. But I don't know. That um, doesn't seem like it's worth it for me. Too complicated. For the love of God, don't inject it. Um, don't do that. Uh, no matter how good you extract it, um, there will still be chemicals, additives in it, and it can cause uh, necrosis, so do not do that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, maybe you learned something new. Uh, remember to check out my Discord server, and I also forgot to mention... Um, I'm still doing a giveaway for my Ko-Fi donators. All you have to do is donate, I believe it's $3 or $2.50, and you're entered in, um, to a $15, $20 giveaway. I haven't decided yet, but, um, yeah, if you're interested in that, I will leave a link. But anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll catch you later.